How's everybody doing? I'm Tweedledee. This is my 2016 Harley Davidson Breakout. And today, I'm upgrading the turn signals to Advan Black's LED halos. Yeah, this is my first video too. I plan on doing a second video due to the fact currently at Van Black does not make the five and three quarter headlight according to the email they plan on making it they just don't know when so with that said I'm replacing the stock Harley headlight with one from Amazon just to tie me over till at Van Black makes one and I can pick up theirs they do make seven inch they do make the passing lights too so those guys if you got that you're good now, let's open this bad boy up. I think you get more than $75 with these. Nice packaging. You get a warranty card, stickers. Boxed up really nice in their own little foamies. I don't know if you can see that. Nice Advan black box too. Smoke lenses come in their own bags. I did have an issue with the initial order. <clears throat> I'm not sponsored by Avan Black. Did not receive these for free. I pay for these out of my own pocket. I did inquire about them. They did give me a discount code, which was really cool of them. And when I received my package, a set was missing. So I had to. Uh, send them a message they got right on it shipped it out so that they are on back order on the website so i don't know if that might be the reason why i don't know but i'm happy with it and the reason why i went with Advan black over custom dynamics it's cheaper these were 75 dollars with smoke lenses i price custom dynamics at 150 for the lights and the smoke lenses. So to me, $149-ish, and you get the whole set versus just one, to me, that was a no-brainer. I like being different anyways with my product. Once I find a product I like, I'm really brand loyal to it. So I learned about Anvan Black from watching Professional Monkey. He has a lot of, I ain't gonna say a lot, he does have a, a, a couple things from Evan Black. So go check out his channel if you wanna see other stuff, mainly for dressers. They do make a really cool 21 inch wrapper front fender. And they make it in this paint color, the hard candy, black gold flake. I really want that. They have the option of black or chrome, which I'd get black spacers. But it's 650 bucks so that was going to be a while <laughs> as much as i wish i had it right now i will do another video probably next week on the light install i see a lot of light installs people got clamps on theirs predominantly and that's all i've seen mine is all screw in so i will do a review ish thing on the one i get from amazon in a year, I will do another video and let people know how the lights held up. They're still working. If anything goes out, they're lifetime warranty. So if it does go out, I'll let you know how that goes. So let's get started. Okay. Turn signals are easy. People say use dimes. I just use my hand. Pop the cap right off. <clears throat> we'll give you this as a tip though. When you pull the bulb, look at which way the little, little TTs are going.
and then it should go right in. Coil it up. Apply light pressure. Look for your little indention on your light, which is right here on mine. Put it on bottom. Easy as that. Same thing on this side. Pop the cap off. Look at which way your little teeth are going here. And it's in. Just take your cap, wrap her up, And it's on. But let's turn them on. Now I was told that you didn't have to have hyper or uh, load resistor. So we're gonna find out. Brake lights, running lights. Right signal, and I got hyper flash. So you know what my next uh, purchase is probably going to be too. That's the rears. So thanks to Movie Magic, I'm gonna flip over here and do the fronts. Okay, got them in. So let's test them. They bright. And have hyper flash. So with there being hyper flash. I know they make something to correct that. I'd read that 2016s and up did not have that problem. Apparently they do. I will be getting a eBay, not eBay, Amazon headlight just to tie over until Advan Black makes their headlight. So I might not have too many issues with riding it the way it is right now. But my thoughts on Avan Black, I like it. So I'm happy with it. I don't know if you will be, but looking at the price compared to Custom Dynamics and some other ones, a whole lot better money wise. I'll let you know on longevity, I will do another video in a year. And I will do a video when I replace that light. I also would like to say something else. My sissy bar. That is a sissy bar from the Forge LLC. It's a veteran-owned business. You do get uh, discounts if you're veterans. 
pack is really good. I've had it on there uh, probably since July. Hadn't had any problems with it. Only thing I'd critique on it would be the diameter of the bar. I wish it was just a little bit thicker. But the fit finish, immaculate. Gotta give them guys props. So if you, if you want a custom sissy bar, they do custom sissy bars too. So go check out theforgellc.com. Check out advanblack.com. They have more than just lights. A lot of bagger stuff. So, I plan on shooting a video a week. I don't know if that's going to happen. I had a goal of putting my first video out in September, but here it is, November 1st, and this is my first video. I've been trying to help another YouTuber with her audio issues because she likes to ride like I do with a half shell, and I've conquered that and using part of it now. So hopefully everything will go good for her and she'll be squared away and happy. And check out Professional Monkeys, Advan Black stuff, really good guy. Funny as all get out. And I guess uh, till the next one, see you later. Okay, I'll give you a quick update. The Hyper Flash, there's a way to fix it without having to go and buy anything. Flip your hazards on for about 30 seconds. Let the computer relearn. Turn them off. Turn the bike on. Test them. Should work perfectly fine. May have to go a little longer, a little shorter. Every bike's different. So that's a little tidbit. A lot of people don't know it. But until next time, like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next one.